Hello friends and welcome back for another virtual story time with Miss Liz. Now you might notice that I'm not in my apartment like I've been for the rest of my videos. I am at the Wooden Shoe Books and Record Store in Philadelphia because I ran out of books to read to you but I knew a place that I could go that had more books and thankfully they have a great book for me to read to you today. Uh, I come here sometimes when I'm not working at the library and I volunteer here, so I was able to use the space and it is a great backdrop. Look at all these beautiful books and the wooden shoe also has a section for kids. So if you guys like good books, you can definitely stop here sometime when it reopens and check out the selection. I grabbed this book off the kids table. It's called Click Clack Moo, Cows That Type by Doreen Cronin with pictures by Betsy Lewin. And this book is from Simon & Schuster Publishing. Thank you so much for the permission to read this book. Let's see what happens. Click Clack Moo, Cows That Type by Doreen Cronin, pictures by Betsy Lewin. Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type. All day long, he hears click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo, clickety, clack, moo. Hmm, that's unusual. At first, he couldn't believe his ears. Cows that type, impossible. Click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo, clickety, clack, moo. Then he couldn't believe his eyes. There was a note on the barn door and it said, Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. It was bad enough the cows had found the old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets. No way, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets. So the cows went on strike. They left another note on the barn door. It said, sorry, we're closed. No milk today. No milk today, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard the cows busy at work. Click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo, clickety, clack, moo. The next day, he got another note. It said, Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold too. They'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. The cows were growing impatient with the farmer and they left a new note on the barn door. It said, closed, no milk and no eggs. No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he could hear them typing. Click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo, clickety, clack, moo. Cows that type, hens on strike. Who ever heard of such a thing? How can I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Farmer Brown was furious. Look at him. He's throwing his hands up in the air like, oh. Farmer Brown got out his own typewriter and he wrote, Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. Hmm. That was not a very nice note, was it? Duck was a neutral party. So he brought the ultimatum to the cows. See, he brought them Farmer Brown's note that he typed up. The cows held an emergency meeting. All the animals gathered around the barn to snoop, but none of them could understand moo. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. Duck knocked on the door early the next morning and he handed Farmer Brown a note. It said, Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door and we will send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. Hmm, I wonder if he's going to do it. Well, Farmer Brown decided this was a good deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come with the typewriter. See the cows? And the hens are all cozy and warm with their electric blankets in the cold night. And the next morning, Farmer Brown got another note and it said, Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We would like a diving board. Sincerely, the ducks. 
And this time you could hear a click, clack, quack, click, clack, quack, clickety, clack, quack. And that is the end. Well, I wonder if the ducks ever got their diving board. What do you think? Hmm. That was a great book. Thank you guys so much for reading with me. Thank you for the wooden shoe uh, being here so that I could have a place to read and a book to read. Uh, I hope you guys will tune in on Monday when I get a new shipment of books and we're able to continue our virtual story times at my apartment. Uh, although this is a really nice space. Maybe I'll come back here one day. All right. Thanks for watching.